Yo, what's going on guys, welcome to a brand new video on the channel, today we've got a banger as always and if you can just spend 2 seconds out of your day to just drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on, that means so much to me, it really does help more than you think. Anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. First thing you want to go ahead and do is just sync up your clip where the damage comes up and then the uh, beat drop of the song. Press M on your keyboard to create a marker which you can use for future reference. Then in the bottom right you want to go minus 50 frames back and split the clip. From here you want to go ahead and download the presets that are going to be in my discord in the hashtag download section just for this video. You're just going to have to do two very easy steps and you're going to get access to these presets very very simply. Once you go ahead and download these using Preset Manager, you can go ahead and press Effects on the tab here and go ahead and apply the bow build up 50 frames before. As you can see, that's going to apply the main effects, but now we need to go ahead and do the slightly more complex stuff. Firstly, you want to hold Control and drag up, then you want to go ahead and press U and delete the audio so there's only one layer of audio. Then on the marker, you want to press Split as well and delete that, and then this is going to keep this part here. Then we're going to go ahead on the marker and we're going to move minus 40 frames back and we're also going to split this here and delete that there. Once you've gone ahead and done that you want to go ahead and fade this in by a few frames and fade this out. Now as you can see sometimes it does mess up and delete the wrong layer so you can just go ahead and drag this out if that happens. So as you can see the magic bullet looks and that stuff is going to disappear but don't worry you just want to go ahead and manually remove all the different effects on here. Sometimes it does take a bit of time because things like Twix, there are magic bullet looks are very difficult to use. And by the way, the download for the magic bullet looks that I'm using in this one, which is the updated version, will be in the Google Drive as well. So you can go ahead and get that plugin for free. I'm just going ahead and done that. You can go ahead and now apply the next one, which is going to be the tarot bow build up, and that's going to be on the top layer. And as you can see, that's going to apply an effect on the top. However, we want to go ahead and keep, uh, mask this properly. You can leave it like that if you really want to, but it just doesn't look that good. So you want to go ahead and go onto the pan and crop, go to mask, then go to the first frame, and you just want to unframe, uh, unfade it so you can still see the effects, so you know where to mask. Get to your oval shape like this, and just draw a rough oval around your character. And basically, you just want to adjust this to a decent size, so you can maybe copy what I do here. And once you've gone ahead and got it to around here, you want to go to the feather type, put this to out, and then put this to about 15%. And as you can see, it's not perfect, so you just want to go ahead and adjust this until you get something that looks quite nice. So as you can see, we're just going to go ahead and mess around with this. Uh, sometimes it's quite hard to get it in the perfect position that you want to, but with a bit of moving around, you should be able to get something that looks decent. Obviously, you spend a bit more time than I did, but this will be good enough for now. So the next thing you want to go ahead and do is optional, you can go ahead and apply some overlay particles. To do this you just want to right click on your video layer, insert video track, then go to the lines here, go to compositing mode and put this on the screen to move the background. And then you can go ahead and fade these in and out as well. Um, I will leave one of these overlays in the description if you want, there's loads in my edit pack and other stuff. So yeah, just use whatever you think looks good in this position. And that right there is basically the whole effect. Really hope you did enjoy. Sorry it's a bit of a shorter one, but I do have more unique tutorials coming soon. If you do want to see those, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on. And also at 3,000 supporters, I'm doing a free edit pack, so make sure to use code Taro in the item shop. Finally, if you want to take your editing to the next level, make sure to go ahead and check out my editing pack. It's got everything that you need to become an insane editor. With that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Really hope you enjoyed. Peace.